All right, remaining Vice Head Mayor candidates, welcome to stage two. All of you are here because you performed well, or well enough, to face your next challenge, parent-teacher conferences. The Vice Head Mayor will need to be a master communicator, and I can't think of a better test of that than meeting with our students and their parents or guardians. I eagerly look forward to sharing my love of science with both progeny and progenitors. Indeed. An orchestra is made up of different parts, and good communication is the key to harmony. Uh, yep. A lifetime on stage has taught me that good communication is essential to holding your audience's attention, which is why Trixie is also known as a great and powerful communicator. Life at the School of Friendship is like a song, and although she started out singing her part pianissimo, Ocellus is now soloing fortissimo. That's good, right? <laughs> Indeed. The science curriculum at the school is somewhat lacking, but Yona has taken to the subject like a yak to smashing. If fostered, I believe she could easily blaze a trail and expand our understanding of science itself. Next best! Next best! Next best! Gallus is a fantastic student. He's even taught me a thing or two about napping. Yeah. Is that why you're putting me to sleep? Um, excuse me? I don't know why I have to come to these things. Well, most parents or guardians want to be involved in our students' lives. Maybe we should find a different representative from Griffinstone to be Gallus's guardian. Oh, that'd be great. If you find one, let me know! I'm so confused. You're saying Silverstream is exuberant? Uh, yep. And enthusiastic? Uh, yep. But aren't those the same? And are they good? I mean, you could be trying to tell me she's unfocused, but then you might just be explaining that you appreciate her high energy. Uh, nope, uh, yep, uh, maybe. There seems to be a lot of nuance here, and I just want to make sure I understand exactly what you're saying. So what are you saying? Uh... Gallus doesn't need to know I'm proud of him, and he certainly doesn't need me trekking all the way to Ponyville. Good, because you're no longer welcome! Oh, well, fine with me! Trixie, what happened? I'm not sure, but we'll have one less conference to worry about next semester. I really appreciate your honesty, Big Mac, and you're right. Parents expect a lot of detailed communication when it comes to their kids. And if you aren't comfortable with that, Vice Head Mayor probably isn't the job for you. Yeah, nope. Starlight, I know why you wanted to see me, and you don't have to worry. Oh, uh, good. It's thoughtful that you'd want to check in on me after my shocking confrontation with Grandpa Gruff. But never fear, I shall recover. Trixie, that's not exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. You can't get into a shouting match with parents or guardians. For the final stage of the interview process, you'll each have to put together a field trip. And if you really do want the job, I need yours to be exceptional. Because if I had to pick a vice head mayor right now, it wouldn't be you. Oh, I see what you're doing. Obviously, you're not gonna give the job to some pony else, but you wanna see my best. Well, message received. Wink. Ugh, Trixie, I... The great and powerful Trixie is about to pull out all the stops. I hope you're ready for the most exceptional field trip to ever grace this school! Is it wrong for me to think she might actually pull it off? Oh, don't answer that. 